Western nations, including the US and the UK, say that North Korean presence in the Russia-Ukraine war fighting for Russia has been a motivating factor behind their recent steps that may escalate the conflict. While several people question why the Biden administration has given a green light to using long-range missiles and target inside Russia, especially when Biden is on his last leg of the presidency. U.S. says it's due to the presence of North Korean troops inside Russia. Amid growing signs of camaraderie between Moscow and Pyongyang, Russian President Vladimir Putin has gifted North Korea dozens of animals. More than 70 animals and birds from Moscow Zoo have been flown to Pyongyang as a gift from Putin, including an African lion and two brown bears. Now, Putin has also previously gifted Kim Jong-un 24 purebred horses, known to be the North Korean leader's favorite while Kim has sent Putin a pair of local dogs. Well, the, the two countries have a deepened political, military and cultural ties in recent times amid Russia's offensive in Ukraine. They are both under heavy Western sanctions and signed a mutual defense pact earlier this year that obligates them to provide immediate military assistance to each other if either of them is invaded or attacked. Western nations, including Ukraine and South Korea, say that North Korea has recently deployed more than 10,000 troops to Russia, who are to be sent into combat against Kiev's forces. South Korean officials have now also claimed that North Korea has sent additional shipments of artillery and rocket launchers to Russia. And Seoul says this is to support Russia's war against Ukraine as North Korean troops enter combat. Pyongyang has been accused of sending thousands of soldiers and container loads of weapons to Moscow as military ties between the two countries have grown stronger. Reports have now emerged saying that Colonel General Kim yong Bok is the top North Korean military official who is currently leading the company in Russia. Kiev and Seoul officials have reportedly confirmed his presence in Russia. In the past, he has been rarely seen or even mentioned in public and reports say that his role leading North Korea's special forces required him to keep a low profile to conceal his true identity. The Colonel General is one of North Korea's most important and decorated military officials, and he has reportedly been tasked with in integrating North Korean troops with the Russians and establishing the pipeline for future deployments. This signals North Korea's intent to assist Russia deep into next year as well.